Hey everybody, my name is Cole Whit and welcome back to the channel. So with the new season three update, as usual, everybody's saying, hey, the rewards in tier three got a buff. Hey, they got a nerf. Well, we have the numbers for you. We ran another 100 contracts inside of the tier three zone and we have the data for this new season and we can compare that with our results from the last season and see what kind of changes have been made in the background you're going to be seeing some gameplay of the so 14 i recorded this live over on the stream if you want to check us out we are live every wednesday 9 30 a.m to 2 30 p.m and we do throw in a couple extra streams here and there so be sure to check that out let's go ahead and let's get started with the data but first you got to smash that like button hit that sub button if you've not yet subscribed to the channel Turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. If you'd like to join our Discord so you can stay up to date with everything we have going on, that link is down in the description below. So for this video, we're gonna be primarily working off of this information right here. So if you need to stop, take a screenshot, I'm gonna have this on and off of the screen here for you. But that is the data that we've collected in a comparison with the season two rewards that we got when we did that. And this is probably a series that we are gonna continue probably every half a season. And we'll see if they do make any significant changes at all to the contract rewards inside of the tier three zone. I am working on some dark ether rewards as well. Those are gonna take a lot more time to compile that data as you can only do three contracts each time and I kind of want to do a comparison between the regular elder or not the regular elder the regular sigil and the elder sigil so that is going to take some time to get all of that data compiled so when we start discussing what changes were possibly made from season two to season three the first thing I want to look at is how many rewards did we get in total so for season two out of the 100 contracts we got a total of 296 rewards so it comes out to about three rewards per contract on average. When we did this for season three, we got 296 rewards. So we matched exactly the same number of rewards that we got in season two when we did this here in season three. So still about that same three rewards per contract. Now I did see a couple of significant differences between season two and season three. Now whether this is completely relevant or I just had a bad 100 contracts in season three this time around that's for kind of you all to decide you can use your own kind of personal experience there but i did notice a reduction a noticeable reduction in epic ether tools i only got epic ether tools in 20 of the 100 contracts that i completed in season three when you compare that with season two we got epic ether tools in 27 of the contracts in season two. So that is a 7% reduction in season three versus what we've seen in season two. It could have just been some bad luck, but that is a rather significant number versus what we saw last season. Now, another significant change that I saw was in the Pack-A-Punch one crystals. In season three, we only got seven Pack-a-Punch 1 crystals over our 100 contracts. While in Season 2, we got 19 Pack-a-Punch 1 crystals over our 100 contracts in Season 2. So that is a 12% reduction in the raw Ethereum crystals, the Pack-a-Punch 1 crystals. So that is certainly not an insignificant number. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this table up on screen while we talk about these. So those were the two of the biggest changes were in the raw crystals and the epic ether tools were two of the biggest changes. Another large change that we saw was an 8% reduction in the number of rare ether tools during the season three versus what we had in season two. So then some of the other changes is we did get three tacticals like monkey bombs, casimirs in season three when we did not get any in season two. We got a legendary tool and a flawless crystal, one of each during the season three testing versus zero in season two. Now we did see a 3% reduction in wonder weapons. We only got three of those versus six in season two. Now that percentage is 
based off of total percentages in contracts. So there's 3% less contracts had wonder weapons, even though that's actually a 50% reduction versus what we got in season two. But to simplify it, we're just going based off the percentage out of 100 that we got it. We saw a 4% increase in perks, a 3% increase in ammo mods, 5% increase in kill streaks, 1% increase in sigils, 6% increase in self revives, a 4% increase in three plate vests, 2% decrease in medium rucksacks, two plate vests stayed the same, 1% decrease in large rucksacks, a 1% increase in refined crystals, a 2% decrease in schematics. So uh, you'd kind of take all of that data combined and you just kind of look at it. And yeah, there are some differences. There are the couple of standouts, the ones that we really talked about, the rare ether tools, the epic ether tools, and the pack-a-punch one crystals. So those are the three very standout. These numbers are pretty significantly different from season three to season two. But overall, I do not truly believe that there was a contract buff or a contract nerf when it comes to season three everything does appear to just be on the same track that we had during the testing of season two and if you kind of put all these numbers together everything's just going to kind of balance out over time 100 contracts is a pretty small sample size overall whenever you're looking at like an rng type thing like this you just got to kind of think of it like a slot machine but yeah, everything is just kind of staying the same. I don't really see a whole lot different. We will compare all of these two datas to the Season 3 Reloaded, which is where Zombies really gets its changes, is during the Reloaded updates. So there may very well be some significant changes to the rewards when it comes to Season 3 Reloaded, and I will be looking forward to finding that out. Now, one thing to note is very shortly after I finished compiling all of this data for this video, and we did the 100 contracts, and I got it all compiled, and I got it all ready to go to make this, I was playing on stream, it was this Saturday, and we played four games live on stream. And during those games, I was able to get legendary ether tools in every single contract, or not every single contract, excuse me, every single game that we played that night. I got a legendary tool. I got flawless crystals in three out of those four games. So that was all also coming, you know, with season three. It didn't make it into this data because I had already collected the, the 100 contracts for it. But maybe there is something to say about that. Maybe overall that there was a little bit of buff, but I really don't think that that is the case. But either way, I think that's going to about wrap it up. There's not really been any changes to season three. We can pretty much confirm that now. If you've enjoyed the video, if you learned something, anything, whatever, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. Join our Discord if you want to find some people to play with or just stay up to date with information that we have coming out on the channel. But yeah, I thank you so much for watching. And my name is Cole Whip, and I'm out.